Can you digitize handwriting? Sure can. Keep watching and I'll show you how. All right, so on this picture, now this is, I just took a piece of paper and I just wrote this in Sharpie marker and I made sure the picture wasn't great. There's shadows and different colors and different everything. So trying to make a worst case scenario on it. Now this is going to be a series on how to digitize handwriting and I'm going to do one in PE design and show you how to write it on the Brothers Scan and Cut as well as Digitize It. And I'll be on the Dream Machine 2 and how to scan it and digitize it automatically on there. So that's what we're going to be working on for the next little while. So keep watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of these, any of this series. And there's a lot of things we can do with this, so we're going to kind of have fun with it. So the first thing is auto digitize a lot of people think they can auto digitize it you can if it's perfectly you know the piece of paper behind is perfectly white and this is black and you have really good definition but most of the time i'm going to guess that that's not what you're going to have if you're taking an old note this is why i did the you know worst case scenario so you won't be able to auto digitize it because this isn't clear enough if you look at the edges here it's a little bit blurry and kind of like there's light and darks and different colors so you can try but you're not going to be successful i got it to go relatively well but there was at least a million jump stitches in this little part so we're not going to do that uh let's go to digitize now if you have a tablet or a pen and tablet you can go ahead and do the freehand open shape and then all you're going to do is trace it and this would be really easy i do find it a little bit difficult to do with the mouse but that's okay that would be an option if you guys are interested in me showing you that like with the camera on my cintiq so you can see what i'm doing let me know in the comments and i can but for now, we are going to do it this way. So we're going to dig digitize an open shape and uh, triple run, I guess, is what we'll do. So you're going to place nodes down. And this is just like following regular digitizing. Now, for placement of the nodes, you see I'm a little off there. I would suggest picking a side or if you can guess right in the middle. So this is one way of doing it. And I think this probably, you know, on the average size, I think this is the best way of doing it with just a single line. It also really depends on the size of uh, what you're doing. It depends on what you're doing it with. If it's uh, larger, you can definitely change the size but look how cute that is and make sure oh i'm going to adjust right there make sure you get the flow of you know how it's working so if you're making it just regular size i think this works perfectly and if you're going to go in the middle try to keep it in the middle so you get the shape how it is see the o isn't perfect or let's try it on the edge and see it just might give you a little more control like this and then we're going to go this way because it's writing see how easy that is it may be a little bit easier i think it probably looks better this way And I'm just right clicking on all of them, left click at the end. There you go. Isn't that cute? So that's our first one, and that's in yellow because there's more than one way of doing it, like I said, depending on the side, size that you're doing. Move that out of the way. It's a little bit, little difficult to see, so let's make it a little bit darker. And I think that looks pretty close. I'm going to make it smaller. We have our true view on. Now that you have it done, you can change to a scripture 
you can change the size of it because it's only a single line. Let's see, we could back stitch is probably my favorite. Stem stitch does not look fantastic. I really like that. Zigzag, uh, you could do that too. That's perfect. We can flip it to satin. Yeah, see, I'm liking all of it. Uh, blanket won't work, but that's how easy it is to do. Now, you can kick it up a little bit. It doesn't always work, but you can try clicking here on the calligraphy, and that gives it a thick and thin sort of design on it. So there's a lot of ways you can play around with it. And if you look at your digitized lettering against the original, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So you can decide, depending on the size, how you want to stitch it out. I think any of the selections here look great. And I, I think it would stitch out beautifully and look pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that's one way. Now let's uh, explore another way because there's always, always more than one way to digitize something. All right, so we're zoomed right in with the block stitches. So we're going to do digitize blocks. Now it makes a satin stitch, but a little bit different because you can control the angles in it. And uh, it really, I think, looks fantastic when you're done. So we want it to be filled and we're going to digitize blocks. So digitizing blocks is one side than the other. And you can right click to make it a curve. So the most important thing when you're digitizing blocks is to keep the angle lines going properly. So the lines going down the middle, those are the angle lines. And it does take a little bit of practice to get this part right, but you can always go back in and fix your mistakes. So there we have a nice tapered edge that matches just about exactly. See, isn't that cute? I think that looks way better. Now, I would like this end to be a little different, so I'm going to go into reshape. And if you find any angles that are wrong, like if I did it like this, that's not right. All you have to do is just, you know, move it around until the stitches look great. I have a little bit of a split stitch there because of the size, and that's okay. So let's move this to about here, and then this one kind of in and up to give it, yeah, there. See, just moving a couple of nodes makes a big difference. So that, I think, looks great. Let's zoom back. Now that is uh, pretty close to the writing. So this way might take you a little bit more time, but I think it looks fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to digitize a little bit more and uh, get this part done.
Okay, so there you have it. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller, but see how cute that is? So it depends on the size of your design, but there's a few ways to digitize it. And I think that looks really, really cute together. Let's move this over. Maybe I could make it a little bit smaller so we can see. Oh, I got the other love involved in there. Let's just do it up above. There we go. And look how good that looked. You noticed, and if you didn't, go back and look. I made some really good connections, so we don't have any jump stitches through this. So I went along and wherever, like here on the M, you don't really want it to go over. Um, you could, but it's better to do a connection. So watch it back and make sure you catch the parts that I made connections on. So hopefully that gives you guys a few ideas on how to digitize your own handwriting. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!